So the Global Innovative Youth Conference is started in 2014 with a group of students from UQ and also QUT Idea Networks. And the point was to facilitate a stronger international connection with a number of different partnerships and universities around the world. So it started out with the University of Singapore actually reaching out to UQ and saying, hey, we want to invite you to our multinational conference. Why don't you come along? And a lot of people were super excited and went along and then decided that, hey, it would be awesome if Australia was able to do one of these. So it started out first year 2014. We had a few students come over from Southeast Asia and also Finland. And in 2016, it grew with more speakers, more countries and universities coming along. And it was mainly to create those partnerships, those networks, and also just have a bit of fun in Australia as well. So we have general startup weekend style competition. So it starts out with everyone meeting each other, having a few speakers, having a number of workshops about like the lean startup, about pitching, about finance, marketing, all the things that you need to be able to come up with a good idea. From that, then we worked on actually putting people in teams where they were able to find team members where skills were complementary. So different cultures, different backgrounds, different skills was really important to make sure that a company was able to grow rather than sort of just friends creating something that wasn't sustainable. And then from that, it was pitching, it was validating the idea. Uh, one of the most important things that we did teach was pivoting. So you come up with an idea, once you validate it, it might not be right, the people might not want it. But then being able to turn that around and create something that people really want was probably one of the more exciting parts of the conference because people were able to see something real and tangible from what they were creating. Um, and then we had the pitching competition where teams of about five or so would come up and they would pitch their idea, just a general investment pitch, five minutes uh, to a panel of judges. And then they would choose who won, so just add a bit more fun, give a few rewards and things like that. The future of GIYC, we hope that it will sustain itself across the university students, university range. Um, obviously growing it so that there's more people, more countries, more opportunities. Also, hopefully more exchanges so that Australians are able to go overseas as well and experience that kind of different startup environment, different culture. I think definitely the biggest surprise about the managing director role was how much work it was. There's so much behind the scenes work that you never really think about how much time it takes. For example, the time zone differences between the people that you're working with, that means that you're staying up later, you're finding new communication methods across different cultures that you don't even, you wouldn't really think about that you'd have to do in terms of business etiquette. Also being the face of the organisation almost when you're talking to people when it's in its very small startup stage, you're pitching to people and how you come across really describes and is an image of what the company is that you're representing. And in a small stage when there's about three of you, it's so, so important. And I think the responsibility is something that comes as a bit of a shock uh, when you have to say, hey, like this only happened once before and here I am and I'm running this conference and people will either go, oh, wow, or they kind of don't take you seriously and things like that. I think representing to your team how you sort of expect them to act as well is something that comes with the role and that was something that I really learnt is leading by example, um, not just to your team, but also to the people who you involve in the conference as well. I think the reason that I chose to run an international startup while I was a student was because UQ has the opportunities and the facilities to do it. So if I was, say, working full time and I tried to do this, it would be really hard because I wouldn't have the student networks. I wouldn't have the support of professors. I wouldn't be able to almost angle myself as a student that has a wider vision um, connecting other students from around the world. And I think also people have a little bit more time. So students want to travel. They want to come to Australia. They want to get involved with these kinds of things. So the target market and the time availability was there. Um, I think a struggle was financing some of the students because coming to Australia is quite expensive, um, which was something that was hard as a student, um, aside from juggling time and everything like that, um, is being able to encourage people to come to Australia just for one week or if they want to travel more. Um, but I think it's mainly being able to tap into the different networks that made it good as a student. <laughs>